make money, we're done. I don't have to do anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. It didn't work out like that. <laughs> Even though I made money, the maximum I think I made from my replicated site, which is your corporate paparazzi site, mm -hmm. the maximum I think I made was like 200 a month. That's not bad. I'm not saying that's bad. But I saw so many people making money in the business, and I'm like, nah, 200 ain't it. I know the potential of it, and that's not enough. I'm, I want more, right? Mm -hmm. And so, I was like, I got with my sponsor, Mariana Kid. And so um, I got with her like, okay, so yeah, no, it's not working like I wanted it to. Matter of fact, in the beginning, I told her, don't even add me to team pages. I got enough to monitor on social media right now. Like, I don't want all those notifications. I don't need it, right? Like, how dare me? <laughs> I'm gonna get in the business and talk about how I want it to work. I joined the business. I gotta work the business. There's a blueprint, right? But anyway, I'm just telling on myself. So I got in like, yeah, I don't wanna be added to team. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do that. Well, what do you wanna do, right? So anyway, I got with her, like, how do I make this work? I'm ready. She's like, you have to sell. You have to sell inventory. So fast forward, I'm like, okay. So I, I, I don't know if you guys saw me on like the elite panel at convention. Yes. But one thing I yes. said, mm -hmm. I said the biggest pivotal moment in my business was when I asked God to forgive me because I realized that I was sitting on like a gold mine, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, okay, Lord, forgive me because if you really trying to bless me up and through here and I'm really not paying attention and being a good steward over what I have so I can move forward, then forgive me and let's go, right? And so the minute I made that decision, business started taking off. And like she was saying earlier, like Diva, I call her D, y'all. I call her D, too. Like, thank y'all how you She was saying, make a schedule. That is what I did from day one. And the reason I decided to make a schedule is because I do know how, I'm not going to say social media, let's just say we know how TV programs work, mm -hmm. right? From when we were young. Mm -hmm. We know that this show comes on this time yeah. every single week. And I need to be there. And if I'm not, I'm going to make sure my VCR, well, we don't do VCR anymore. <laughs> what, what, what do we do now? DVR. DVR, okay. I'm trying to my age a little bit. So anyway, so we do DVR. So you know what time it comes on. So if I'm not there, the DVR is going to be there. So I wanted to bring that whole concept to my business and make sure that people know when to find me. So I don't have to tell you every time I'm on because you know, Friday, Friday, Friday. It's, it's embedded like because I'm sticking with my schedule. So I started going live, made a plan, and um, just started working business that way. And now that I'm working it and I have the attention of people, I'm like, okay, let's implement. I really want to implement that online shopping experience because I know um, I'm a busy person. I have other businesses and stuff too. So my thing was, um, everyone might not want to go live. I mean, everyone might not want to sit through your live. And I do marathons, okay? So I'm on like three, four hours. People might not want to sit on for three or four hours, and maybe they want to and don't have time. So I needed something where people can shop 4 a.m., 3 a.m. Plus, we're in Cali. We got shoppers all over the U.S., mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So when we sleep, they up. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they have insomnia or whatever. I don't even care. I just want to make sure that you can get to my website. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's when I started the Square Store. But then I got introduced to Shopify. For those of y'all, like, let me see a show of hands that know about Shopify. Okay, do y'all have a Shopify? No. I don't hear y'all though. Yes. 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 Cause y'all know these masks, I can't. Even <laughs> so, I'm like, is she smiling? Yes. Is she <laughs> smiling? So if you have, if you like, so before Shopify there was square. So anyway, Shopify is a e-commerce beast. Mm -hmm. It is so amazing. It like, okay, I told you guys that I'm a six figure earner in sales, right? Like about, I would say 45% of that money comes from my online store. Mm. Wow. It comes from my online store. Live just helps stay, you know, those algorithms. It helps stay in people's, you know, face. It helps them see this stuff live and in person. But once they trust you, once they know you have a site, people are going to your website. People buy our stuff sometimes before it even hit my live. Right? Mm -hmm. Especially with Black Diamond, I got a whole bunch of pieces. It's not going to all hit the live. Matter of fact, if you are popping and you are investing in yourself on a daily basis when new releases drop, there is no way possible eight, uh, yeah. eight days a week. For it's sure. Eight days a week. <laughs> but seven days a no week, you can show off. everything. Yeah. So you have to give a platform where people can shop for what they're looking for. And even if you can show everything, well, not everything, but even 50% of the items, right? What if I'm showing something that day, but you're looking for like a leopard print something? Yeah. And I don't show it that day. 
if you go to my website, you can type it in and do a search and you can find it. So that's just how dope Shopify is. So that's one of the reasons that I created a Shopify was so that I can have a platform to tell my customers when I'm live, hey, when I'm not here, or if you can't make it here, don't even worry about it. Head on over to my website, right? So that they can shop there. So that's why I started it. It's very, very important. I don't know if you got, like during the pandemic, y'all, where people were scared to go live and they don't want, they don't know if people don't want to spend money, stop paying out people's money. Right. You just show up. Right. Don't worry about if people have money to spend because people gonna do what they want to do with their money. Right. So during last year, during the pandemic, I hit a like, oh my God, sales. I made one month, I made like 19,000. Right. One month. So on average, we make like about 10 to 19,000, I'll say a month. It's totally possible, y'all. But during the pandemic, it shot up. And we're not over the pandemic yet, right? We still got on masks. So Shopify is so vital. Plus, a lot of times, like, have you ever heard of the term um, work smarter and not harder? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, this is Shopify. Work smarter, not harder. Now, so many people that join me in the business, this is what they tell me. Well, I got, like, Shopify, that's $29 a month. So you're telling me you can't sell six pieces of jewelry in one week. I'm telling you right now, even if you're on a very tight budget, the best thing you can do for yourself is have a Shopify and maintain your Shopify. Because that $30 that you spend a month is going to yield so much more. Like I told y'all, we make anywhere from ten to 19000 a month. And 50, no, about 45% of that is online sales, mm -hmm. right? So you gotta utilize it. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about though is not just having a Shopify. Cause I've been seeing this a lot. And sad to say, I see it on my team too. I see it everywhere. People think that just cause you get a Shopify, you get that email, you know what I'm saying? You got that login, get your password, all that stuff. You like, they wanna put selfies on your Shopify. Mm -hmm. They don't have selfies on your Shopify. <laughs> don't okay <laughs> unless it's doctored up and it looks professional because let's be honest when you have when you go to a website that looks really professional that's all laid out that's looking all nice you trust that website you're like okay they're they're pretty professional okay i can put my money here it looks like a safe place if it looks bootleg I'm not shopping because I don't know how my stuff is going to come packaged. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to come COVID, wrapped in COVID. Like, I don't know what, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't know what I'm going to get from that website because it doesn't look professional and it doesn't look trustworthy. So I've been seeing that a lot where fonts are all different. You got this font, that font. Like, just, you can't just have a Shopify to say that you have a Shopify. If you have to pay money, and a lot of people don't like to hear that, but what you have to understand is your website is an investment. Yeah. Your website is going to, there's going to, well, I mean, how many want to make money every day? Yes, money every Let me hear you say money every day, money every day, money every day, money every day. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if y'all want to make money every day, it, you have to invest in your store, in your online store. It has to look presentable. Now, there's people on Fiverr. There are YouTube videos. I don't know, Google people that do Shopify. If you see somebody Shopify is popping, inbox them and say, would you mind sharing who did your website or whatever, because your appearance matters. Just like when we get on our lives, we can't just get on our lives looking any kind of way. Your Shopify can't look any kind of way. You can't have, because see, um, and just people, the person that built mine, this is what they told me, because I didn't do it, okay? They said, you can't just use images, not like, usually if you use an image from your cell phone, it, it gets all pixelated. Mm -hmm. When you put it in certain places on that website, it blows it up and it looks so good. It doesn't look great. And then two, you don't want to be in your car, you got selfie with your seatbelt, like that's not cute. Mm -hmm. Even on your profile for paparazzi's website, if I see, if I'm going to that area code and I see a bunch of different consultants and you literally have a seatbelt on, or you got a mirror in the background, or you got your house in the background, or you got whatever, you got your, your peg, what, what, just certain, like no. Mm -hmm. You can have a clean background. I tell people this too on my team, Get, do a photo shoot at least one time. Mm. If you can't, like, come on. We got these, that's my iPhone over there, but we got these Samsungs, mm -hmm. we got these iPhones. They have portrait mode. Go to a park. 
get some trees in the back of you. Mm -hmm. Like this is your future. You have to invest in it. You have to invest time and you have to invest money. Mm -hmm. So I said all that to say, make sure that your Shopify looks good. Make sure that the pictures are in sync. Make sure that when you post your, um, when you put your images on there, have it uniform. If you're gonna use the models with them wearing the piece, all your pictures should use the models. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna use the stock photo without the model, make all your photos. Look, like it has to be uniform. Like when we go to all these different websites like Fashion Nova and all these different places, it's like, doesn't it look really professional? Yeah. If you wanna spend your money there, it looks good, right? Make sure you have collections, have necklaces, earrings, bracelets. Mm -hmm. I've gone to some Shopify's just, just like, you know, peeking. Just kind of digging, just seeing what I see. And like, especially I do that on my team sometimes too. And we'll hit them up like, what's going on here? You know, like we'll hit them up and be like, hey, you know, but not in a negative way, but like, let's get this together. Let's work on this, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to have like different type fonts, cartoon type fonts. You got this pink writing you can't really see. Like you guys just have to like, take a look at some other people's website. Look at Fashion Nova, look at Old Navy, look at all these different places, right? And see, the, the, the theme maybe that they have. And when I say theme, like, you know, do you wanna have pictures of, you know, um, they have like these photos, I don't know, my husband knows where to get from, I don't know, but I think it's like Google on somewhere where you can actually use images that are not copyrighted, y'all know what I'm talking about? You can get women wearing jewelry, it does not necessarily have to be paparazzi jewelry. You're just showing a photo of, you know, like a happy photo, like it's a girl on my website where she's like, Right, and it's just telling people like, you can get notification on the releases, right? It's something inviting to welcome people in. So when you have a Shopify, it's not enough to just have a Shopify. And then I wanna talk about a domain name. Do you guys know what a domain name is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the reason I'm bringing that up, I think Shopify gives you, yeah. right within Shopify, I didn't do that because I, I had Square first, but Shopify gives you a domain name. You can personalize your domain name within Shopify. So whatever your business, I'm looking at my time. So whatever your business name is, I'm like, how do we do that? <laughs> but whatever your business name is, make sure that it ties into your store, right? Mm -hmm. Like you want to be branded. You want, when you say your name, you want people to be able to go search your name and find you everywhere. Yeah. Like if you go Google CK, oh my goodness, my stuff is coming. Like I have a CK Jewels YouTube, I have a CK Jewels Facebook, um, what else? My Shopify, all that stuff comes up, right? And in your Shopify, do you guys know about tagging in your Shopify? No. Okay. So when you go, um, if you go to my website, I actually under, behind each piece of jewelry, I have paparazzi accessories. The reason I have that is because when we, whenever we want to go find a paparazzi piece, we always say the name of it and then we put paparazzi, paparazzi accessories. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So I just want to make it easy for people to find me on Google. I'm just saying. So I put in paparazzi accessories. Then there's tags there where you can put the name, you can put rhinestone, da da da, right? Because usually when people search the, like you might not know the name, but you're like, yeah, you know, rhinestone earring, cosmic rhinestone, white, blue, something. So you can put tags, just like you do tags on, you know, social media. Yeah. Except you don't have to do the hashtag, you just write in the different things that you want it to be found by. And you guys know about collections in Shopify, right? Yeah. Okay, so how many know that you can have a product visible in multiple collections at one time? Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say for instance, I have a necklace, right? Um, let's say it is a Fashion Fix necklace. It's a necklace mm -hmm. and it was a new release because I just got it on the fourth or something like that. I'll hit all those categories yeah. because the people that go to my new release section, I want them to see it there because it's new, but at the same time, if someone is just going to my site to shop necklaces, they'll see it there too. Or if someone is Googling fashion fix, they'll see it under fashion fix as well, okay? And so the reason I'm a kinda, I kinda do this like, you know, goulash thing where I'm like, something that comes to my mind, I'll just talk about it so y'all just gotta roll with me, right? Y'all gonna roll with me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so back to the domain. <laughs> so when, um, when you have a domain, usually you can select to have an email or request to have an email attached to that. I want you guys as well to have an email related to your business name because that takes you to a whole, a whole nother level of professionalism. It's not, when I am, when people, like let's say I'm reaching out to somebody for some type of business or service 
and I see Gmail, Ymail, Yahoo. I'm like, this, like, okay. It that what that says to me is that you're really not investing in your business. Do you really believe in your business enough to invest and, and get a, a email that matches your website so it looks official, right? If we get something from an educational field, it's always such and such that edu. If we get something from Old Navy, it's gonna be I like Old Navy. Can I tell? <laughs> if we get something from Old Navy, it's like such and such oldnavy.com. Like it's always attached to the business that we are, you know, doing service with. So I encourage you guys to do that for your business as well, so that when people message you or whatever about the business, or they want to contact you about the business on your Shopify, it says contact. Have a business email so people know we're not doing this for play play. This is like a real business. So before I go into um, social media, do you guys have any questions about Shopify? Yes, ma'am. I have a couple. Okay. The first one, how do you manage your Shopify inventory? Oh, <laughs> that's a great question. Okay, so I, I actually have this thing uh, where I categorize my inventory by bin and SKU numbers. It's similar to what Myrie does, except I use comments sold. I don't know if you guys saw her video, but I use comments sold. She uses like Facebook commenting or something like that. So it's the same concept in the sense that I give it a SKU number and then I file it away. So the reason that it was imperative for me to get a site that coincides with Shopify is because I go live. And when I go live, it was like, before I was using that, my inventory was all over the place because people would shop my website and I'm going live. Mm -hmm. And then like, you know what I'm saying? So it, it got all like discombobulated. Mm -hmm. And so I use comments so, so that when I go live, if they're buying it from the live, it takes it away from the Shopify. If they're buying it from the Shopify, it takes it away from the live. However. There's a trick. Somebody say trick. 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 Okay. <laughs> so there's a trick when I'm live. So let's say, let's talk about the butterfly necklace that was snatched from me that she wears. <laughs> because I definitely, I got the money yesterday. But that was snatched. So we're going to talk about that. So let's say you buy 50 of those, right? Um, what I usually do when I first order new releases, um, whatever the, if it's a hot, hot piece and I'm going to get 50, I usually only make maybe max 30, 35 available on my store. But what we do, do you guys know about the view inventory history thing in Shopify? Mm -hmm. Oh, you gonna learn today. Mm -hmm. So when you go into Shopify and you're under the products, it has inventory and you can, I, I, I can't remember exactly, but you guys don't have to play with it, but it says view inventory history. So you can see the whole history of your inventory in Shopify. So let me go, let me back up. When I first order, let's say I order 50. I like it to say 50 because that is where we started. Then I go deduct 20, because let's say I only have 30. Then in the inventory history, it'll say, Crystal Key manually removed 20. So then when it comes in, I know to put them back. But this is the trick how I don't, how I, it won't allow, um, it won't let people sell it out before my live. When I put those 20 back, like when they come in and I'm about to do a live, I ask, is this too much? Are y'all following me with it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so when I go live, <laughs> I'm telling my secret. But when I, when I go live or when I get the inventory in, I add the 20 back and I remove it from the online store. I remove it. Now this is under sales channel. Y'all familiar with sales channel on yeah. Shopify? See, y'all got to know y'all products. Y'all got to know what y'all working with. This is going to help you. Yeah. Okay, so sales channel, that means, uh oh, that means you have, um, it's a Facebook sales channel, an Instagram sales channel, it's an online store sales channel, it's a comment sold sales channel if you use it. And we're going to talk about why you should use those after I answer more questions. But on those sales channels, I put, I, I only leave point of sale and I unclick everything else. So if somebody was to come search my site for, for the butterfly, they wouldn't buy it. It's like hidden. Mm -hmm. So then when I go live, it's showing that I have those 20 because they can't shop on comments sold if I have zero quantity. Mm -hmm. So I have to put the 20 back. And so when I put it, well, mine is my one that I'm keeping, mm -hmm. right? So I got to put the 19 back. <laughs> I mean, come on. Right? Yeah. We can fly off our own supply. If you right. don't, right. Yes. Right. I mean, come on. Right. That's how you make your money. You got yeah. the rest of it. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Make 
especially your family wearing it. I don't care if you gotta give them a free piece. Yeah. They gotta represent you some kind of way. And if they don't, give it to a friend. Right. Give them. I mean, you know, I hear people say sometimes we sell free jewelry. Like what? Um, it totally makes sense. Give it away. Give it away to people and let them wear it. Let them rock it. And then they'll be like, oh yeah, CP, I got that from CP. I got that from Bristol. I got that. From, well, where's that? How to, boom. Website. Yeah. Go make a sale. I don't even have to talk to you. You get what I'm saying? Not that we mind talking to people, but there's a way we can make money without having to go through Messenger. And another thing about having a Shopify, let me tell y'all something. I remember I used to get so many messages. You have this piece, you have this piece, you have this piece, you have this piece. I'm talking pictures and messages and I don't even know what piece that is because there's no name. You just send me on somebody's couch a necklace. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea. It's some, a screenshot, a blurry screenshot of somebody live. Right. I don't know. So I tell people, well, if you know the name and you know the color, you can go to my website and you can shop my website. And just point people over to your website, right? Because that takes away time from you working your business. Mm -hmm. To go back and forth, back yeah. and forth mm -hmm. in Messenger. Mm -hmm. And then, too, it's taking time away from me to train oh, up It's yeah. taking time away from me to, you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not saying I have to go look and find it. But my thing is, if I got to search my website, they can, they can search it, too. Right. It's the same, the same as I would, yeah. right? But if I know the name of it right off the top, I will get the link and I'll put the link the direct link right to it. Because you want to have good customer service, yeah. but you want to be effective as well. Mm -hmm. So I just go ahead and send a message of the link if I know the link. If not, I just let them know. They can search by metal, they can search by style, they can search by um, color, all of that. They can search by like description, mm -hmm. rhinestone, whatever. That's the beauty of Shopify as well. But you said you had two questions, so. Yes, I have another question. New release section, you said section. Mm -hmm. So if you purchase, say, 10 pieces today, different pieces, and you upload them to your Shopify, do you upload them when you purchase them, or do you upload them when it comes in? And then how do you manage that? Okay. Does anyone know the answer to that question? You upload it when you order them. You, you, you upload it daily. Uh-huh. I, listen, paparazzi make money for me every single day, and I might not get it till three weeks later. Mm -hmm. I don't make... See, because when you put it on your site every day, or even if you do a water drop, let's say you don't even want to use your Shopify, that was just too much to manage for me to go try to read comments, sit, click all comments, mm -hmm. see this person, then they comment five days later, then they talking about I commented. Mm -hmm. That's just too much. So the website is great. It's great. But um, um, I forgot the, what I was going to say to that one point, but it'll come back to me. But um, so I'll put it up every single day. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So when I put it up every day and I make money every day, that enables me to make sure I can buy new releases the next day. Mm -hmm. I don't want, like I, some of these consultants, or if this is you, I'm, I'm about to, I'm gonna get on you a little bit, but I love you though, okay, if this is you. <laughs> if you are waiting for three and four weeks to get a box from paparazzi, you missing out on all that money, and then people be like, well, I'm struggling, I don't have money, and I don't have this, and I don't have, because you waiting three, four weeks. Paparazzi already in the policies and procedures, it says that once we get the order confirmation, yeah. we yes. can't sell. Mm -hmm. We just cannot pre-sale if something that we don't have or a bag we have not secured. So I put it on there. However, I make my customers fully aware under my new release section, it says these pieces, now everybody don't read, that's not my fault. It's <laughs> everybody doesn't read. And you know, sometimes I Sometimes I don't even know. I'll be like, oh, shoot, I didn't see that part. <laughs> okay, you're bad. That's not my bad. <laughs> so on my new release section, it literally says, these products in the new release section were ordered from paparazzi and will take anywhere from 14 to 21 days to receive. Upon receipt, it will be shipped out to you and you will receive a tracking number. Um, and then also, we started having the... Um, order date in the description box. Mm -hmm. So if it shows that 14, I don't know if people get this deep, but some people are analytical, analytical mm -hmm. some people dig in. So if you know that it doesn't ship for 14 to 21 days, if my order date is like September 1st and you're ordering September 1st, I don't have it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I use now. There's some people on my team that use a, um, it's an app that you can connect and that's why I love Shopify too. You can, it connects to so many different apps that work together with Shopify. But um, there's an app where it's like an agreement app. I don't know the name, y'all have to like Google it, but because I don't do it. But it's an agreement app, and, and I know you guys have probably purchased from people that say like, you know, you have to click this before you check out because you gotta make sure you understand these terms. And it's just saying, mm -hmm. I agree, I'm gonna get this in 14 to 21 days. So they're knowing 
you know, sometimes people click and still check yeah. out, but that's still not your fault. You're putting the information out there. Mm -hmm. So that's how I work mine. But I do have my new releases. Usually, as soon as I get that confirmation, it may be a little bit of time, but it like clockwork. I put them up there. Thank you. So you're welcome. Kind of on my, I'm sorry, so I'm going to move my clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So when you have new items that are going to be waiting, and then yes. there's such that's actually in stock, do you ship twice or do you hold everything and wait till you have shipped out at once? Absolutely not. They pay shipping one time. And so that's why um, it also says that, like, if you, I think it says that, and if not, we need to, like, do some, <laughs> we get, you know, some fixing. But I think it does say that, like, once your items are received, your order will ship in its entirety. Okay. Now, if somebody reaches out to me and says, hey, I you know, I ordered da 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 da, I get that a lot too. I ordered that, and you want to have good customer service, y'all. Don't be mean. Because the best kind of customer is, do y'all know? A happy customer. Uh uh, not happy. A returning customer. customer. Boom! That part. It's a returning customer. Mm -hmm. So you do want to, you want to have great customer service. You don't want to talk to people like kids. You don't want to talk to people disrespectful. You just want to, you know, always apologize for the inconvenience. Whether it's your fault or not, just apologize, right? You know? Just a little sugar. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, so I will let them know if you would like me to send those. Sometimes it depends. If, the, if this is the first time, I might say, hey, I'll go ahead and you send the stuff you need now, and then I'll send the other one complimentary. But then most of the time, it's just like, hey, you can pay extra shipping if you would like me to ship mm -hmm. them separate. And then also, while we're on that, are you guys aware that you can fulfill orders little by little, that you don't have to fulfill the whole order at one time? Are you guys aware of that? Because I use that feature a lot. So I use that to monitor my inventory. So every time we get boxes in, and is, is this good? Mm -hmm. Okay, every time I get boxes in, um, I go through those boxes and we have uh, shoe racks on the, on the um, I don't know if you guys know, the hanging shoe racks, mm -hmm. we use those for orders, mm -hmm. for pending online orders. And so if I get something that is attached to an order, I fulfill the things that I receive, but it's only for my inventory purposes. Mm -hmm. I There's a section where you can click fulfill and you can deselect or mark down to zero the items that you don't have, but the ones you're fulfilling, you can leave the quantity there because you're fulfilling it. However, this is very, very important, and I learned this the hard way, so please listen. <laughs> Unclick notify customer. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. if you notify them, baby, they gonna say, <laughs> so you shipping that, but you're not shipping nothing else? I got another case. Well, when's the rest? Of Just don't notify them. Yeah. Then when I get all the stuff in and the order's complete, you can add the tracking to all of those fulfilled orders. Mm -hmm. They might get like five notifications, but at least they know it's on the way. So the yeah. fulfilled item, can you check it, it removes it from your inventory? No, Not it removes it. it from your inventory when they order it, okay. right? Because they're removing it. When you're going in fulfilling it, when you take it down to zero, that's because you didn't receive it in yet. So you can't fulfill it if you don't have it. Mm -hmm. So once you have it, then you can say, okay, I'll fulfill this, but let me deselect to notify the customer because I'm going to put it in their shoe rack with their number on it. And then now you'll have them sitting in the unfulfilled or, or the partially fulfilled, mm -hmm. not unfulfilled. So when their other stuff comes in, there's a, so maybe I should tell you this too. So when you go into Shopify, is this helping you? Yes. yes. Okay. So when you go into Shopify and you get an order, um, it will say, you know, that you have to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. And when you go into it, you click in, you got to click into the order, and that's where you can click, you can unclick stuff and then click fulfill, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if everything is there, I have it all in stock, I'll just ship it straight out through Pirate Ship. Mm -hmm. And then it fulfills automatically. Mm -hmm. But when I get stuff in daily, that's when I have to do it manually because somebody, they don't know what they order. They don't know if they ordered something from last week and something that I ordered today, da, 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 da. So it's all jumbled in one order. So that just keeps me sane and helps me know that I have. You put it aside. That I put it aside. So that's internal inventory controls. And that's very, very important if you are going to make sales every day and put your new releases up. Now, some people on my team, I say, if you ain't ready for that level, don't push yourself. Just put it on your store, put it online when you get it. Mm -hmm. Or make it available, like you can import it and just make it like, there's a, now they have this thing where you can save it as a draft or you can make it active. Mm -hmm. Just don't make it active yet until it comes in if that is better for you. 
But I have a system. I've been doing this for a minute, so I don't mind as I get it in, just you know, fulfilling the partially fulfilling the orders, and then in the in the order category, you can sort by unfulfilled. You can sort by partially fulfilled. But now let me go back to when you get items in. This is how we receive items. When I get my boxes in, I um I you know how they give you like a receipt of all mm -hmm. the pieces. I start from the first piece. I type in the piece in the all orders field, and everybody that ordered that piece is gonna pop up. So that's how I know what to do. Oh, okay. I probably should have started there. But we're here now. <laughs> okay, we're here now. So does that make sense now? Yeah. So you you type in the piece, the name of the piece, and everybody that ordered that piece will come to the forefront. So you don't miss anybody. And then you can put it in the shoe bag. And then you pull from that, and then whatever's left over is what you go ahead and do. It's what I go ahead and I go live with. It's oh, already on the system, but it's what I go live with. And now I put them in Ziploc bags, and I print out labels with the names. Because I don't know if you ever seen my live, but I, go, I have stuff in like Ziploc bags mm -hmm. because that's I file them by number. That's how I'm able to go find them. So when someone places an order, everything has a number. Once I do a live, I don't do it before a live, but once I do a live, everything has a number. So when someone places an order, what used to take me. 12 hours all day filling all these orders. It has a speed number. I just go to the bin, go get it, boom. It's like a warehouse, so. Can you explain your transition from Square to Shopify? Because right now I'm doing Square and it's it's hard to maintain. I can, but I don't want to. No, I'm just kidding. No, because that's so. Oh my God, it was traumatic. It was traumatizing. Um, Why did I make the transition and how, how, how was that, right? <laughs> okay, so, okay, what do I want to tackle first? <laughs> okay, you asked me first, so I'm gonna give you yours. So, um, how? My husband had to do, I can't even tell you what he did, but he did some type, he added some type of app to Shopify where he could select them in bulk and bring them over, but it was still painful because I still had to add pictures to everything. And some of that stuff, I didn't even know, I, I had no download, no picture. And now in Paparazzi's order history, you just pull mm -hmm. one, okay, let me know. Um, and uh, now in Paparazzi, I don't know if y'all noticed that feature, you can go in the order yeah. and you can search the piece and see what order it was on and get your downloads, girl, get your download on. Um, and don't be posting pictures on your Shopify of personal pictures of you taking of the jewelry, don't do that. I don't care if it's even fashion fits. <laughs> Wait till you get them pictures from fashion fits, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I got a confession though. I only do that with life of the party because people be looking for them 10 pieces I get every month. So I only do that <laughs> with those. But as soon as they give me the stock photos, I, I'm putting it up there, okay? So just so y'all know. And that's only so I can do it live because I have to have something in there. Mm -hmm. But now, so yeah, it was painful. And I recommend if you're starting out, I know a lot of times people say, well, Square is free. Okay, free ain't always the best, okay? Like, stop, and then too, as business owners, we can't look for the cheap way out. Like, you want to invest something, right? Yeah. And I and, and I don't even lie, it took me a while to move to Shopify, and I literally just wasn't ready because I knew I would have to like do that transition, and I knew it was best because Shopify is an amazing platform, but I just knew it was gonna take time to reconfigure everything and move it over, make sure the description is right and all that. And um, yeah, it was it was painful, but I'm, I love it now. <laughs> That's all I can say for that. But and why did I do it? Because Square back then, I don't know about Square now, but like at least two years ago, they would crop the photos, and my logo was cropped off. And y'all know it's against compliance to have a picture without the paparazzi crown on it. And so it would crop it, and you couldn't search by um, by name and by color and all that kind of stuff. So in order for people to find pieces, they would have to like search the website all the way to the end. And then some stuff just never got seen because it wasn't a search feature. And so, um, you know, Shopify is the best that I know of that is most affordable, especially for um, growing businesses, because I've never declared my business a small. So it's the best for growing businesses. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and you know, even like those big businesses, like um, mm -hmm. super big businesses, like Fashion Nova, they use Shopify. Mm -hmm. They use Shopify, other companies use Shopify, legit. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I made the transition, because it was time. Um, if I wanted to level my business up, you have to level up in all areas. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the areas that I could do better, and I decided to do it. It was painful, but I did it. <laughs>
definitely still uh, learning Shopify, so I really, really appreciate this. Yeah, me too, girl, me too. Um, <laughs> and they change. So, yeah. forever. So, learning. so um, when you're uploading your inventory, do you manually type in all the details? Like, you have to select the track quantity and tag and all that kind of stuff. Or is there a way that you can, because when I try to bulk editor, I don't find I'm able to make some of those selections like I'd like to. When I'm you're like, uploading? So I upload using the CDS, the CSV CD. file, mm -hmm. whichever it is. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, you said it, amazing. you said it. Because I used to do them all manually, and I was like, oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, game changer if you're not, if you're not doing that. Cause yeah. Because I'll add the pictures. Um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, but when you have to add all the tags and all that, you got to do all that manually. I mean, I love that it puts all the photos mm -hmm. and the descriptions and all that, but to sort of yeah. the way you're describing. So, I don't do that. <laughs> My husband does that. So he <laughs> does that. So he does that. Yeah. Yeah. He is because he's doing the SEO tags. He's doing the product tags. He's doing making it active because you got to make it active mm -hmm. after you put it in. But he's a beast with it. Like he can get it done. Like, but it's manually done. But I, I honestly don't know. Oh. I think it is. I think that part of it is manual. It's, it's catering key on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't even know. Because I don't see him. Like, you tell no, <laughs> but, um, I can't go into detail about that part because I don't do it. But when I do it manually, like let's say I enter the fashion fit pieces and I enter like a party because I know that I get them ahead of time and I want them in there so people can pre-claim um, through my comments. So because it's, it's just life changing. And so those are the only ones that I do. On a daily basis, he actually manually enters. So, But he does use the CSV. And then just a, co a copy and paste, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I can't even answer. I, that part, I don't know. No. If you're not, so the tags you have to Next time you need to. You can type in certain categories, whatever category you want, and you select them. Oh, I don't do the tags. So that was good that you talked to me. So what I think? The tags. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where was he coming? Yes. What was your next question? Y'all like have a question because I got two more. <laughs> You, you listen. <laughs> just is it good? Okay, okay. 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 Two quick questions. Yes. Um, I, you you say, it may be a quick question. I don't know. You said the answer. <laughs> Where do you get that from? The what? The professional email. The business. Email. Okay, so how I got mine because I don't know what Shopify has going on with that because I didn't use theirs, but I got my domain from. It's a company called Ionos, but they used to be called One and One, but they're now Ionos, and I use that because I have multiple domains with them. And so when I purchased my domain, I added an email to that. <laughs> and I can purchase up to five emails or even yeah. more, I would do. So as I get staff, yeah. let's say I want to do an info, let's say I want to do a staff, let's say I want to do management or whatever, you can name it whatever you would like to and you can have it go to, you know, connect it to your different devices. So I use them, I don't know if Shopify offers that with their domain because I didn't create mine through Shopify. I think go so, yes. I was just so I just went with Ionos because I was already with them, so it just made sense to you know um, consolidate yeah. everything. So, but go that is. Yeah. Okay. So the other question is, mm -hmm. oh, what made you switch to Comic Sold? Girl, what did me? No, um, really. So Comic Sold. We were at a point where um, we would go live on Fridays and we would be done, and then. Invoicing, I was up to like forever, mm -hmm. and then my husband started helping me invoice, and we were up to like forever. Mm -hmm. And then I have two girls, and then they started helping us invoice and put stuff together, and then it was like forever, forever. Mm -hmm. And so it was like something has got to give. Now I knew that the premium package and comment sold was like one hundred and fifty dollars, but my um my my occupational background, you know, I used to be an accountant, well, still an accountant, but I just don't work for nobody anymore. Mm -hmm. But um. You work for I work for CEO. Well, I work for multiple companies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, can't go there. But um, so I figured, if like even if I hired someone for fifteen hours a month, that would be yeah. like hundred fifty dollars. So I was like, why not just do comments? So it's an investment in my future, and it's gonna make me more money in the long run. And so it's an automated invoicing system, so I can go live mm -hmm. as much as I want and walk away. As soon as I go live, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Really? Yeah, they they check out themselves. So it was for me. It wasn't even. Oh, we're just trying to be all fancy. No, it was like I need it. It was a need. It was like if I, you know, you get to points in your business if you don't like expand, 
you're gonna either be stagnant or you're gonna be overwhelmed. And the thing is, I want to continue enjoying what I do. I want to love it. I want to be able to honestly tell people, you should join me doing this because it's the bomb.com. But feeling overwhelmed and hating, not that I hated invoicing, because I still looked at it as, hey, I get to invoice, but mm -hmm. you gotta work smarter and not harder. You see companies, they have a whole team. They have a CEO, they have a CFO, they have a CIO, they have all these different things. They can't do it by themselves. So I had to get some help, and the quickest way that I knew I could get help was comment so. So I'm gonna go into real quick, and I'm not gonna even dig in there, but it's very imperative, especially with an online, um, with the way things are going with um, online stores and stuff like that, and online presence, and just the way people search the internet and search Instagram and search um, Facebook and all that, it's very imperative that you do have um, social media, okay? All companies, they even get a Snapchat just because they wanna get a Snapchat, just because everyone else has it and they post little things on it, right? My main, like, ones that I use are my Facebook business page because you cannot do comments so without having a business page. But you should definitely want to have a business page because you get you can see insights. You can see it from the reactions of people liking your mm -hmm. posts, hearting your posts. You can see, you know, the angry faces, which I tell people if I see angry faces, I'm like, do I need to pull out my couch? Do you need to have a CD up that's calm? You know, like, okay, is everything all right? You know what I mean? If I see an angry face, but yeah, you know what I mean. But if you see all those reactions, you can actually invite people right there in the reactions. So the business page is clutch. Like it's like, it's amazing. So now with my business page and with Instagram, they are all connected to Shopify. People can tap my picture on Instagram and go shop right to my website. Wow. People can tap the picture on Facebook, go shop. If I connect it to comments, so they can, I can post my picture today, which I'm gonna do later so y'all can see. And while I'm gonna do it later, I'm gonna put my earrings, I'm gonna put my bracelet if I still have some left, and then I'm gonna just, all you gotta do, one space 101, one space 102 for those products, and then it's just gonna pop it in their cart. Mm -hmm. So this is why I'm saying, like, you don't wanna leave any money on the table. I always tell my team, don't leave any money on the table, because trust and believe me, there's people that are on Facebook that are not doing Instagram. Mm -hmm. There's people on Instagram that are not doing Facebook. Mm -hmm. Right. There, you know what I'm saying? There's people that just wanna do lives. Why are you limiting yourself to only doing lives and overworking yourself to where, oh my God, I gotta go live, I gotta go live, I gotta go. Well, right. you can post a picture. And make it easy on you. It's just post a picture to tag it right to the store. Mm -hmm. You can go shop. Come on, y'all know y'all see that in like a lot of these business pages. Mm -hmm. You can literally just tag it, yeah. it says be the shop. Then, mm -hmm. not, then they got the nerve to tell you, you like that, well get this, get this, right. get this. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, mm -hmm. if you are not doing that, if you don't have your business pages, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. And I will also go a step further to tell you that on social medias, branding is key, y'all. No pun intended. But branding <laughs> is key, seriously. If you have a business name, like make that business name available on your Instagram. Make it, you know, make that handle the handle on your Instagram. Make that handle the handle on your Facebook. Wherever you go, use that handle. So it's very, very important that in the beginning, if you have not done all of this, Search that business name. I tell people when they first join me, do a Google search, because everybody in their mama want to say Queen this, right, in their business name. So if I type in Queen, whatever, 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 who's going to come to the top? Who's going to be buried at the bottom? So try to be strategic in the names that you use, and make sure they're available on all platforms, and snatch that yoga up if it's available so that people know how to find you, because a lot of times, people will, sh they'll um, search CQ, but they'll just go search CQ Jewels, and what if CQ Jewels on Instagram wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Right, so just brand across the board, and if you don't have an Instagram, oh, I'm gonna need you to do it, I'm gonna need you to do it, and not no personal profile, y'all, business profile. Mm -hmm. Business is the only way you're gonna be a tag to everything. That's the only way, because, you know, these the business account means you wanna do business. Personal is, you just wanna be social. No, we passed the social point with our business. We want to make money every day. So you want to make sure that your names coincide and you want to make sure that they are businesses. That's what gives you insight. Like she was saying, plan, look at reports, do this, do that. You can't do that with the personal. You can't do that. You can't see where people are buying from it. What, what, what piece, you know, they like the most. What they, you know, all that. Like, you just, you'll do yourself a, a huge service if you do. I have one more question. Yes. When you do the new releases and they pre-claim, are they paying at that moment or when the item comes in? Because sometimes you might not get as many items as you ordered. Wait, say that again. When they pre-claim, yeah. are they paying right then? 
And then the, the second, God, yes they are, but okay. what was the second part of that Because question? sometimes you don't get all of the items that you order. Well, mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You mean like you when I get my box? Or you miss something? Yeah. Well, okay. I, so mm -hmm. I get people on my team that say that too, like, but what if this hasn't, but what if that? So every day we take a risk when we walk into work, right? That there's risk in doing business as well, right? So my thing is, what if you don't get one of these? What if your order's perfect? Right? So if you do get those situations or you have a, a case like that, handle it when it gets to it. Right? There's been times where I've had to refund people because, you know, it was broken and then I contact maybe paparazzi and then maybe they're not anymore left. I just have to refund them. It's just a part of doing business. It's okay. Like, you know what I mean? There's times where I can order from Amazon and all these different places, mm -hmm. get something broken. Mm -hmm. There's a time I can order from them and it happened to me today with Target, okay? <laughs> I did a drive up, I ordered Celsius. I'm like, put it in the cart. They're like, order will be ready in two hours. And I'm like, oh, unfortunately. <laughs> right. It ain't happened when, <laughs> sorry to say, but no, seriously. So that, it's a part of business. And I don't, I don't take it personal. And you know, people, they, I have recurring customers, even those that that has happened to. So I don't let that stop me from making money. I don't let that stop me because really, it's kind of operating in fear. Well, oh my God, but this might, oh my God, this might. We can't yeah. operate in fear. We have to get to the side and we have to make this money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, look at, I did so good. So if there's any, if there's any other questions, it's not me. <laughs> I do have it. I have somebody here. Because I did, hey. Assort 
those items, you know, by sets that I want to do. Then if I think, oh, I know I have something that'll go with that, or let me just do a search, because this is all, this is a whole little red, little pile right here. Let me do a search on Shopify and see what other red piece can go with that. Oh, and I find it, click on it, go pull that number. Oh, and then the numbers. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Now, days prior to that, yeah. Oh my God. I, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> pulling, pulling the band A through C, yeah, right. pulling it, putting it back. That's what I'm feeling. It's yeah. over. It's over. Mm -hmm. wow. You got to do yourself a favor, right? Mm -hmm. Smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. I had to do it. And I'm so glad that I did. But it did take time. But now everything gets numbered. Mm -hmm. We have a consistent flow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a okay. time. Now, one more question. Time. Go back I to the two more questions. Okay, okay, go, go, okay, go back to the like SKU this. number and the common salt. How do you combine those two together? No, no. So, so I don't do a SKU number and common So When you get comments sold, they um, integrate. So I have it set up to it, it's an automatic integration. So every time my husband puts in the items in Shopify, it automatically tells comments sold. This mm -hmm. is what it is. So it's already in there. They wow. talk to each other as far as that goes. Okay, so then when you go live, the common soul number is just automatically gonna pop up. So whatever that no, number says, right? that's that's totally different. Um, that has nothing to do with skew number. That is a number that comment soul gives it because I select dynamic selection. But you won't know about that unless you like have it. But it automatically generates a number when I tell it what piece I want to show. Okay. So that's that not me. Just not your skew number. No. Oh, oh, I, I thought that was the same okay. number. Okay. No, that's a generated, um, a automatically generated number from comments. Over. Just for those, per just for that. Now, that's how I do it. Some people probably use skew numbers for themselves. Yeah, that's too much. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> that's too much brain power. I'm just smarter, not harder. But yeah, it automatically uh, uh, generates. So those numbers are just for the live comments. Over. Only. Because you know why? Because I might do 100 through 250. Yeah. The next okay. live, 100 to 250. Okay. The okay. next live, one. So it's just, it's for that designated live. But it pulls mm -hmm. it out of your inventory that is skewed. Yes. And also, when I get an order online, well, if I get an order online, that stuff that's already there that has been assigned a SKU number, because you have to, you can't just start the process. You got to keep it up, right? So if I get an order that ha that's attached to items that already have SKUs, all the SKUs come up, and all I got to do is go for it. Yes. What program? Are you are seeing this is not me. <laughs> <laughs> what program are you using when you're live that puts up the win and the number? That's common. Okay, got it. Yes. So I know that you have a board. You have board with your uh -huh. So here's where I get stuck with the number answer. So I have my boards categorized: earrings, colors, all that. Okay. So when you have, I have. They're all, they're all numbered. Now I just need to get the numbers to the back. Okay. But if I move the numbers around, is the board going to get messed up or no? Am I am I overthinking it? Am I? Um, so say say these gold earrings are number one hundred four, but now one hundred four is gone. So now I need to use that number for this purple bracelet. So um, I don't know if I'm I following know. you. I guess you're so trying to you use you put something on the back, like a little sticky on the back of the. Um, I guess in my mind, maybe because my numbers are numerically ordered. You, just oh, you have it really color coordinated with the numbers that are in a certain area. So basically, she moves one that's supposed to be orange, and now there's a, a purple piece. It doesn't have. Yeah. yeah, you can't. You, you can't. Like, either, either you want color, color or you want number. Yeah. yeah. Either you gonna go by color system or you gonna go by number system. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if you guys saw Myrie's video. She said that when she started off, all her colors matched. Yeah. Now it don't really match because you have to replace it with another number. Now, unless she's gonna just like really just traumatize yourself and overwork your brain, like okay, let me wait till a red comes in, then I'll put it there. I'm not doing that. So, so I have to give up that order. <laughs> no, not well for me. All that stuff on my pegboard, it has a number. Well, most of it, because before I started the numbering system, it was up there. But I know the name. So I can pull it up on my lives, and it's still accounted for. Mm -hmm. So I still have the color scheme, but I didn't write numbers up on there. My numbers are in Ziploc bags and bins. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can still have it there, but you just have to um, maybe not use your pegboard as your numbering system. Okay. I use my bins as my numbering system. Okay, that my pegboard is strictly for showcase. 
Well, and shopping, you know, for shopping, obviously. But I mean, it, the color coordination is for showcasing. I don't go by my numbers on that. They, those numbers are probably mixed all around somewhere. Yeah. You, did that make sense yeah, for you? I hear okay. You. Okay, you guys. See? Not instructor. Okay. We got to